Sir Colville Young has been Belize's Governor General for the last 28 years. He was first appointed in November 1993 and will officially end his over two decades as GG at the end of this month. Sir Colville Young was preceded by Dame Elmira Minita Gordon. She was Belize's first Governor General from September 1981 through to November 1993. The Governor General of Belize is a representative of the Head of State, Queen Elizabeth II. He or she is a ceremonial figure in that there is limited power that the Governor General can exercise. To the government of Belize, the GG is an executive authority, so the government then cannot pass laws without the GG's approval or signature. But the Belize Constitution states that when the GG is required to carry out a duty, he or she shall so do in consultation, which underscores that the GG doesn't have the authority to make decisions on his or her own. In special cases where the GG is required to act according to the Constitution, the Governor General must seek the advice and consensus of the Belize Advisory Council. According to our Constitution, the GG has the authority to appoint the Prime Minister and members of the Cabinet. Furthermore, that also comes with the authority to dismiss said government figures. But who can become a Governor General and what is required of the person whose name is submitted for consideration of this position? According to one former Cabinet Secretary, Quote, the most important consideration is that the person must be a person of substance who can earn and maintain the respect of the people of this country, end quote. The highly educated citizen of Belize should be able to garner respect from neighboring countries and the rest of the world, particularly the Commonwealth. The government, in consultation with the opposition, recommends this person of substance to be appointed as Governor General. That name goes to the Buckingham Palace in the United Kingdom where the individual will be vetted and the name is then submitted to the Queen who later signs a letter of appointment naming that person as her representative in Belize. The appointed GG takes an oath of allegiance and he or she is immediately subject to the provision of the Constitution. A former cabinet secretary says that from that point, quote, it's a job of the Governor General to ensure that the Constitution is followed because the executive authority in Belize is vested in that Governor General, end quote. The GG therefore holds office at the pleasure of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. All Governors General in the Commonwealth serve in similar capacity as the GG in Belize. However, there are circumstances in the wider Commonwealth where some name changes have been made, where a Governor General has been replaced by a ceremonial president and, in some cases, an executive president who then becomes the head of state for that country. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.